Uh, today we will be continuing with the uh, Twitch OSM leaflet stuff that we were doing previously. Um, and we're going to do quite a bit of stuff today. Well, we're going to pretend to do quite a bit of stuff today. We're going to have a, a to-do list that we're going to create. Uh, and we probably won't get through all of it, and maybe none of it, because let's face it, I suck. But let's go ahead and create the to-do list. Now, from last time we remember, and this is in no particular order. In fact, we sort of, um, there's some things we can't, uh, I'll just skip around in. Okay, so one, we will um, fix namespace issues. In other words, um, I've been putting stuff into the, and by the way, everything's going to be numbered one, because everyone is number one. Uh, you will remember that I put some stuff into the math and main namespaces. It shouldn't do that. I'll fix it by creating a BC lib namespace. Um, Then we need to fix the code that'll break because, of course, we were using uh, that uh, those uh, those variables, those constants in, in parts of the program. We shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Um, we're going to test um, bonding, binding, mixy thing. Um, Rep has added a feature where you can um, save your data to Git. I don't know how well it's working. Apparently, I already have. Um, I apparently already have a commit. I don't know where it is, though. Um, so, I mean, I don't know where on GitHub it is. Presumably, I'm going to say GitHub, actually. It is actually GitHub, not just on Git. So we need to figure that out, spend a few minutes at least doing that. Okay. And then um, I finally did find a simple formula for G uh, great circle distance. And I'm going to hand convert it from Mathematica uh, to JavaScript, just because the, the automated conversion should work, but it's going to give us a much more complicated version than we need. OK, and then once we get that do go going, we're going to draw some actual buffer maps. We're going to use that to show, um, we're, we're going to use that to find, you know, draw like buffers around cities. And they're not going to look around because we're using a Mercator map. But that will be a little bit of fun. Um, add controls for buffer maps. So right now we don't have a lot. Well, actually, I forgot what the hell we do have. What's going on? Uh, okay, right now we have um, just really the four buttons that let us move our little guy north and south. We can't even turn off or on the different layers. We want to do that, but we also, once we start creating a buffer, we want to let people change the size of the buffer, change where the buffer is, and so on. And that's not really part of the long-term plan here, but it is important uh, because it gives it sort of helps us develop a, a pattern uh, for creating a GUI tools to uh, you know sort of influence how the map looks. So we do want to sort of not let that get too far behind. Um, and and there are places where I've done this before, so I should kind of know what I'm doing. But we definitely want to let uh, we definitely want to work on some form of controls uh, for this map. Okay. Then, if after we do that, or again, at some random point in time, um, we're going to look at um, Voronoi di diagrams. So, you know, if there's five cities and you want to know which city you're closest to in the world and color the map based on that, that's a Voronoi diagram. And we can do that. It's a very similar technique to adding buffers, but not identical. And then I don't think we'll have um, time for this one. And I don't really, this is difficult. Now, it might seem that if you have Voronoi diagrams and buffer maps, you already have like border lines of, you know, exactly where is something 50 miles from a city. And you do, but suppose you just want the border lines and you don't want the, uh, the coloration itself. Um, you might be able to get away, I mean, you really can't. I mean, you can't get away with a transparent coloration because then there won't be any marker. So a borderline map is where we find that a certain property changes at a given point and we put like a black line there or whatever we want to put there. And it is a little bit different from a Voronoi diagram or a, uh, or a buffer. I mean, I mean, you can use, you know, Voronoi diagrams and buffers, but if you want to create a borderline that's different than actually uh, creating the, uh, the buffer or the Voronoi diagram itself. Okay, enough babbling. Let's go over here. I don't think I've messed up. Oh, BC Reset has nothing in it. BC Lib Staging. So this is where I'm going to... Um, this is what I have to do, see? Um, I'm pretty sure I... Let me just... I just like to break the rules. I want to see if I can define this. I'm pretty sure it's not going to let me do this because BC Lib isn't defined. 
uh, but that's okay for right now. And pi is not defined. Okay, I think that is what I expected. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to define it anyway, because math pi is good enough that I should be using that anyway. Degree is actually something I do need to use. I'm going to say bc lib equals math pi. And this is the number you multiply to convert from degrees to radians. And so you can say 10 times degree to mean 10 degrees. And let's watch this fail. Degree is not defined. Okay, and that's fine. So we actually need to do this. We need to say bc lib is going to be an object. And, oh, let's be really obnoxious and do this. I mean, might as well, might as well make it a non-empty object. Um, little trick here. If I'm going to add more stuff to this, I'm going to keep wanting to add commas, but if I do this, it won't work because it's syntactically incorrect, I think. That's not what I expected. Um, maybe this is syntactically correct. Okay. And maybe what I was complaining about earlier... All right, hang on. This really shouldn't work, but you know what? Let's... Let's go ahead and console log this puppy, see what happens. So maybe, maybe you can do this. Um... Oh, I apparently I've defined some constants in it already. So, I have Mercator lat limits somewhere later in this. So apparently I can do this. I can get away with this. Um, but now I like my other way so, so much more, I'm going to actually do it that way. So double reverse. Very, very tricky maneuver. Okay, um, the Earth's constant Earth radius. That doesn't belong here either. That probably, there's some library somewhere in JavaScript that doubtless gives this to you. This is the Earth's average radius, not the polar radius, not the equatorial radius. And I actually have a, uh, a source. Wow, I'm very happy with myself for that. And I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to move it over here. And I'm going to get rid of this to do because I'm no longer going to find stuff into... Uh, uh, okay, and so that's... I, I'm going to, you know, sort of document this outside the global namespace. And this again... Man, I'm really tempted to sort of do this, but uh, again, I should not be doing this. And I can't even put it like that, so... So, my version of Arctan, which is ugly because... Well, shoot, you know what? Uh, this is really ugly. I sort of want bclib.math.arctan to be equal to math arctan, and I'm beginning to wonder if that's really such a good idea. In fact, it's not. I've determined. The good Ramanian function, I know I use it somewhere, but I'm gonna try to avoid it, so let's leave it let's leave it the way it is for right now, but um constant paranoia that I'm not streaming for some reason. Now let me check. Let me nope, nope, we, we are streaming. Okay good. Um Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but I mean, if the other thing worked, this might. Um, and I do want to define secant. Do I? Maybe not. And not haversign, not arc haversign. Already defined degree. Wow. So let's do this. Clean up unused and unuseful functions. That still needs to be done. This is probably really bad, and that is, again, because I was using uh, variables in the main namespace. Okay, now let's see if I have... Uh, Clean that up. Let's see if this even runs, actually. Wow. I mean, <laughs> the fact that the only mistake in this is that I forgot to put a, put a colon between the property name and its value is sort of amazing. Um, spherical to XYZ not defined. Okay, that's... That, I think, still has something to do with this. Um... Math good Romanian, maybe I need to just put it one space here. Okay. Alright, it's time for our friend console log. And this is really bad. I'm just need to delimit it somehow and I'm too lazy to put it in the angle brackets. 
but I mean, this will work, obviously. Okay, um... After property ID, so Earth Radius is this. It's kind of annoying that it's not in the right color. Let me see if that fixes that. Because it should be, like, in green like this. Which makes me wonder if this is not really... Eh, it is a comma. Earth Radius, Math Good Romanian is a function. This, again, might be... Be fine. Oh, you know what? I think I can't do this. I think I have to put this in like. Well, let's find out. Let's find out if removing line 10 will help. So, well, I think maybe I have to. Um, I, because I don't have bclib.math defined as an object. I can do it now because I have bclib defined. And we'll do this. And let's see if that works any better. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I'm happy. Okay. So I don't think I do any more... I don't think I talk anymore, because, you know, it's difficult being human. Um, I mean, I am human, but, you know. Um, so I don't think I do any more of that munging over here, so I think we fixed the namespace issue. Uh, the fact that it doesn't actually break anything... Um, might be that it is breaking something, but it's breaking something in a way we can't see. It's certainly not causing a syntax error, uh, so we're just going to kind of go with that. Um, wow. This looks really ugly, cause, but it's still pretty ugly even when you put it on a larger uh, screen, when you widen the, the columns that are available to it. Okay, so that was not bad. And I will put... Oh, you know what? I need to look at BC. Sorry, I need that. Was, that was just one file. I need to look at um, BC lib JS, and I think I'm going to move the Mercator lat limit is the uh, northernmost um, point at which, uh, if you have a square Mercator map, it's the northernmost point represented by that square Mercator map in degrees. And. This is part of the English room, so we, we can put this over here. But we're going to be. It's going to be inconsistent here because when I put I do let them break stuff. So here, um, this is possibly a bad idea, but I stole this from Stack Overflow. I am overwriting um, a function in number, or actually, I'm creating a new one that fixes up the mod function which I think we need. Uh, and then the rest of this should just be um, my function hash values, bound number. Yeah, all these are just functions, so I think, let's see if that broke anything. Wow. Okay. Yep, I put an equal here, when of course I meant to put a colon, because this is now a proper Okay, so that went pretty well. Um, DC maps, I think, is library. Um, oh, this is the library we're creating uh, as we go along for um, functions specific to this object. Leaflet, leaflet, that's not my code. Do script.js on who's in there. So good, now we can say. Oh shit, I've got two. Okay. Um. Actually, we did this, so we're going to get rid of this. We're actually going to delete this file. We don't think that to-do belongs in lib. I mean, you could argue that we have a separate to-do for... By the way, the um, long-term goal here is going to be efficientized, meaning make the whole thing more efficient. Um, so I'm going to say this is done-ish. I'm going to say this is done-ish. I'm pretty sure it's not, actually. We're going to find something that breaks, but at least we're not, we don't have the syntax error. Okay, now... We're going to test the GitHub thing, which should be really a lot of fun because I have no idea where the hell this is going or if it'll even work. So now I should be able to... What did you change? Okay. Now I'm usually terrible about um, GitHub comments. Um, and then, of course, it just becomes a huge mess towards the when you're just pushing stuff all the time. Let me, for right now, try to be nice about... Let me be accurate and say um, removed variables and functions from main 
namespace and move them to bclib created to do uh, see again this is actually multiple stuff I think that should be enough so let's commit and push loading okay now I have a second version here that's very nice uh, that is also committing somewhere let me see if I can okay so I can revert there I I'm still really, really not happy that um, I have no idea where this is. It, I, I'm pretty sure it's it's not, maybe it's just uh, with Git, but I'm pretty sure this is with GitHub that they're doing this. Um, so at some point, yeah. So, tested but need more, because I have no idea where the hell this stuff is going. Alright, now we're going to go over here and hand convert the great circle distance formula. And we're just going to put it over... We'll put it in maps, actually. That's pr probably a good place for it. Um, and in fact, do I already have it? Yes, I do. So I'm going to... Um, still wanted to return all this crap. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to write it differently. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to Mathematica, which you can't see. It's magic. And see if I can find... Well, let's, let's see innovation there. Okay, and this is the function here. It's actually not that bad, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to cut and paste it without going through XClipboard, which is a beautiful tool, by the way. If you have difficulty um, cutting and pasting between X terminals and um, and things that actually use Control C, Control V. So, this is the function. It's not that hard. Um, I just need to see what I'm calling my variables. Okay, so this is just going to be cosine object lat 1 times cosine object lat 2. Oh, geez. <sighs> Sometimes. This is what got ugly, I think. Uh, times vclib.degree. So this is probably why I was getting so frustrated with this earlier. In fact, can I actually do that? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Um, so this is probably why it's ugly. It's not the formula that's ugly. It's just, um, it's just, uh, that I have to convert everything from, re um, from degrees to radians. I could, of course, write a function that just takes degrees directly, and I'm tempted to do that. Um, because then I could just use these formulas as is. But let's go ahead and slog it out this way. So that's the cosine. And again, the fact that I'm using object is also kind of ugly. Um, so I've got to do like object long one times degree minus object long two times well, it's long two times degree. And we're, now that's the first part of it. I mean, that's we don't have the arc cosine yet, but that's the first part of it. So that's kind of nice. And why am I putting it in brackets? Because that's how Mathematica does it. Not, of course. Of course, this is going to be math. Jesus Christ. Now I'm seeing why it was so difficult. These are going to be parentheses. I'm going to try doing this. And math cosine. Yeah, I'm beginning to see why I didn't want to do this earlier. Uh, object root NBC lib times math cosine. Uh, and this should be long too. And by the way, the order doesn't matter. Cosine is an even function. So you learn something. Um, okay. That's one part of it. So we're, we're not for some percentage of the degree there. Math sine. Lat 1 times degree. Times BC lib degree. Yeah, this is making me unhappy. Okay. Uh, that one times VC lib degree. Uh, so I'm going to make sure everything's okay there. Um, there's no one in chat unless there's someone who's hiding. But if you are there, hello, maybe help me out. Um, or, you know, don't. I don't mean financially. I mean uh, with just catching mistakes that I'm going to make. 
because I will make them. And then, by the way, this is um, that's too far too. Um, this is sort of ugly because I'm using this is the order of operations guarantees this will happen in the correct way, but it looks like it looks very ugly. It doesn't look like it's going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. Um, okay, and then we need the arc cosine of this whole thing. I don't know, uh, the stupid, just, just freaking let me write it. Now I'm going to see what happens if I do this. It should, yay, it should automatically have done that for me, and it does. So now, God willing, this is a function that actually gives us the GCD. So we will say, this will be the, um, Obj disk, this is the distance in radians, which we don't use that often, but you know, hey, whatever. And then we can return obj. Let's test with this before we move on to miles and kilometers, because it won't work, that's why. I heard you ask. Okay. Lat1 is not defined. Of course it's not defined. Object, see, this is, I need to fix, do something about this. And I think I will add this to my, um, to-do list, make using object var less messy, and maybe create trig functions for degrees. Probably won't do it, but you know, because this is probably the only time I'm going to use it. But it's important to put as much stuff as possible in your to-do list so it looks like you're doing something. Fascinating tip for you there. Um, so back to where we were. And now I don't think we need that. So console log GC dist. Between the, this is this should be about. Um, I mean the radius is one, two pi. So this should be very close to actually the number pi. It won't be, but uh oh. Distance not a number. Well, you know we didn't really expect that to work. Um, let's see what happens if we move this to like 15 degrees. Yeah, well, at least it said it, but no. Okie dokie! So now we're going to do the thing I didn't want to do. Kill myself. No, sorry. Um, we're going to break this down into pieces by um, sort of doing a binary search like thing. We're going to like calculate this part of it, see if that's accurate. Um, oh, I know it's wrong. I still have uh, brackets somewhere. I mean to have parentheses. Wow, that's a lot of... That's why I'm glad I had an automated program to do it. It would be great if it worked, but, you know, that's... Missing an index. Okay, good, so that means I've screwed up somewhere very mildly and still left one of these stupid brackets here. Um, and by the way, notice how useful it is by not telling me the line number this is occurring in. And this object degree, that's a point. Oh, there's a, there's a, oh, there's two of them. Wow. Okay. Now, 0.26, that is, that might be accurate. That should be pi over 6, although I don't know if anyone actually knows what that pi over 6 actually is. That is pi over 2, which is actually really good. And now, getting back to 180, this should be pi. Oh, because I put latitude 2 as 1. Now this should be pi. Yay, there it is, our beautiful number pi. Okay, let's run some more tests here, but we're at least, this isn't totally broken. So why don't we look at the distance between the equator and the North Pole. This should be uh, pi over 2, I think. And that is pi over 2, fantastic. Now, what if we change the longitude? For the class members watching, this should not change the distance, because from any point on the uh, on the equator to any point on, well, to the point that is the North Pole, pi over 2. Fantastic. Okay, now let's measure the distance from, well, you know what, now let's get really crazy and uh, actually add in some of our constants. Um, and now, let's see, what are we going to say, what we can call them? I can actually use, like, uh, sites to see the, and if we can use, like, real cities and stuff, we're in fantastic shape. Um... 
So the distance in kilometers is the distance times... Then I want to say that Earth radius is... Oh, this is not going to work. Oh, that is correct. The circumference of the world is actually very close to 40,000 kilometers. In fact, it was originally going to be defined uh, that the uh, that the meter is one ten millionth of the distance between the equator and the North Pole. That didn't quite work out. Beverage. Um, but it's still pretty close. So a good check is that the circumference of the Earth is about 40,000. And now I'm going to annoy everybody. Well. Um, by doing a double multiplicate. Well, who cares? It turns out the inch is actually literally defined to be 2.54 centimeters, which means that the kilometer is exactly one point, uh, sorry, the mile is exactly 1.609344 uh, kilometers. That's an exact number that is not an approximation because of the way the inch is now defined. Boy, did you care? Probably not. Okay, now let's uh, say, now let's do something. I happen to know where my city is. I think I'm in it. So roughly speaking, Albuquerque is at a longitude of minus 1.65 latitude. Uh, Tokyo, Japan, where I've been, by the way, not that you care, is uh, latitude 35. Damn, I wish I knew the longitude. Oh. This is where we go to Mr. Ugh, you know what? Let's be good little boys and girls and go to OpenStreetMap. Because we are using it, and it is actually a very nice service that we should be using. So tell me where Tokyo is. It's not very helpful. Okay, Tokyo, show me state boundary. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Good enough for me. Um, there should be a way to put... Shiny. There should be a way to put... Um, show my location. No, wait, I don't want to show my location, you idiot. Uh, there should be a way to put a grid on this. Um, And there is not. Um, you might just be able to do this, though. Center map here. Show address. 142, well, let's say 143. Because we're only looking at an approximation. Okay, according to this, the distance between Albuquerque and Tokyo is far too long. 15,100, that seems longer than it should be. Wait, 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 wait. This should be a division. Because its miles are bigger than kilometers. So that actually seems sort of accurate. And... Okay, earlier I said I'm going to fix it so that when I do a search it opens in a new window. And I said I was going to do that on my own time. But I've decided I hate everybody in the stream, including people who are watching it recorded, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that on the off chance that it's helpful to you, but more because I want to just do it. So we go to here, Preferences, um, Search, um, Provide Search Suggest... Actually, let's turn that off. That could be dangerous. Um, and... Wow. So not here, apparently. I could Google for it, but that might be... Um, We're going to Google, and we are going to over it. No, we're not. Open search in new tab Firefox. Um, okay, and we keep looking on the settings. So this is more totally useless to you than everything else, but, but you know, that's what I'm all about. I'm actually hoping to eventually harm people. Oh, fuck. That was... Insane. I like the way their ads jump around, so it's really impossible to let unclick them. Um, oh shit, you have to go into config? Uh, well, I guess that's what we're looking for, but I was hoping there was just a setting. Um, preferences search. Oh, is that which search engine you get to use? 
Only the search bar. Now about config is one of my favorite uh, Yes, I understand. Don't show me this one anyway. Um search in see we're looking for the word tab in here somewhere. Browser search new tab or something. They actually tell us what it is. Um search open in tab. Okay, so we're looking for open in tab. There it is. True. We're done. Yay. So now let's test it by screwing up. Well, you know, we, I don't mind if we screw up preferences. Because presumably that's not useful to us. Um, Albuquerque to Tokyo Distance. And that is 5,940 miles. Replit probably says 5,845. And since we were only being, um, we weren't being super accurate with the location of either one, um, that's good. So, I really should test this some more, but I'm actually pretty confident this is this is working now. So, wow, we're just blazing through this to-do list. And again, I'm not really sure I've done it, so I'm going to say, done-ish. So now we get to the actual sort of part that has something to do with drawing. Um, a buffer map will give you a, the, you know, a color of the list of points that is within a given distance of a given point. And let's go ahead, and I think we've already done some of the work for this. Um, X, Y, Z to long lat, yeah, 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 yeah. Why well, long lat X, Y, Z? Have we done some of the work for this? Oh yeah, we have, because I had a buffer function earlier, and I basically uh, just copied it. So, okay, so the color function... The color function. Okay, so then we would. Okay, and then we're just going to compute the distance here, and that's just going to be. What else going to be? There it is. We see distance, which takes an object. Um, let's see. Uh, we're gonna be, that one and lat two are going to be basically the the point that was passed to us, which I think is just lat. Yes, latitude and longitude. Lat. Longitude, longitude, and of course the. Um, presumably, if I've done this right, which I. This is just going to be long lat. Oh, fuck. All right, I'm having a crisis. Let's make sure that this actually is what I think it is, and I'm pretty sure it is. It's, it should be a, a two, an object with two fields, uh, one that is long LNG and one which is L. AT. So now we can run this if we actually call the function anywhere. Mm. I hope I just commented. Nope, I didn't. I actually... Buffer tile. Um... So I have to give a dist too, or what do I give here? Oh. Okay, X, Y, Z parameters of the tile, and then an extra params to give longitude. And the latitude and color function, which I'm not going to give right now. And again, this extra params thing might be the death of me. Oh, actually, it's going to be like this. Params is going to be the object that has that zero, and that's. So that's where we're going to measure the distance from. And then... Wow. I need to really fix this up. Alright, buffer tile is an object whose x... We're going to say... Well, let's see where this is in the... Uh, in the, um, the distance on the, uh, the big tile. That basically represents the whole wor world. Q... 
Okay, is that what I meant to do? Yes. And this might not run because I don't have enough parameters, but let's see what happens. Invalid property ID. Yep, that's not what I meant to do at all. Of course, extra params is an object. There we go. Well, we're getting closer now. Okay, so we have extra params is that object. That closes off uh, what I'm sending it, and this is... Let's do that. And degree is not defined. Woohoo! So we broke it. And of course, that's because I now have it as... There is a way in Replit to do a sort of a, a global search and re replace. Um, okay. Maybe it's not actually what I want to do here. So if I type here, I may be able to get the, um, the really cool global search and replace. Nope, that does not work. Did I say bclib.degree or bclib.math.degree? I probably fucked myself over and said .math.degree. Okay. That's not going to work, but let's see if that fixes that problem. Uh, yeah, so the error is now coming in later, so we just need to fix that in the other places it occurs. Not there, not there, there and there bclib.math.degree. At some point, one reason we write functions is so we don't have to do crap like this. So, eventually when we actually write the code that does this, uh, that does the, the main work, we're not going to have to worry about all this crap because we're worrying about it here, basically. And now we run, and we can never stop. So that's pretty sad. Okay. Oh, because I'm using like 65 bajillion points. I'm going to have to stop this. And we're going to have to reload as well, I think. Stop it! And reload it. Meanwhile, we still have no users in chat. Thank you for not joining me. And I actually mean that, because uh, I would be nervous if people were in chat. Okay. Alright, then we're good to go there. No, we're not. Yep, that's what I was... Ooh. That really scared me. Okay, I think we just did a reload there, and I think the problem, as you saw from the console, is we were printing out a bajillion values. Um, and, of course, we don't really want to do that. We're computing a bajillion values. We do need to do that, because that does need to be done in real time. Um, yeah. That's where I should not have been doing that. So now... Yay! X, Y, so latitude, 179, lo longitude, uh, um, mm -hmm. so, and I have not actually assigned object dist as part of my, uh, no, actually this does need to be just dist, and I should probably... Yeah, that'd be kind of a good thing to console log, too, huh? Since that's what I'm testing. And again, I'm going to put it in this sort of only sometimes test. And apparently I've decided I'm going to put this on a new line. I don't know why. Okay. Ooh, not cool at all. So now the problem is... Yes, the problem is I forgot to put in a latitude and uh, secondary latitude, because, you know, that would be really useful. No, no, don't do that. And I'm just going to assume here... Oh, no, actually, this is going to be a uh, long lat. I'm just going to assume here that it, it behaves nicely and returns a LNG and a LAT function. If it doesn't, we'll have to change this. Um, and that would be the latitude. Okay, let's rock and roll. By which I mean let's code. Okay, let's see what this does. Magic, magic, magic. 
Um, still latitude and two not defined. Okay. Is longitude longitude two is defined? That's kind of nice. Um. So the question is, how does x, y, does long that return the longitude of the point in question? Either that, or I've screwed this up somehow, and I'm not using the um, uh, right, la sorry, latitude. Latitude to that object, the lat. Well, you know what we say. Um, when in doubt, console log more stuff. It's not really, it doesn't really roll off the tongue. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, hang on, we are actually doing that. Um... So, long lat, um, we should, okay, that really shouldn't be a problem. Latitude one undefined, longitude one undefined, that should not actually happen, uh, because we're in, I mean, it's going to be like the northwest corner of the world, so to speak, but it shouldn't be undefined. So that's a, that's a problem we need to look at. And I guess, are we in a double loop? We are in a double loop. So, let's do this. Let's see what x, y, do we care? Kind of what i and j are, and we can go from there. And if we have to, we'll just use some special values of i and j to get this going. But um, I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? It's dollar sign brace. And let's see what that does. Something tells me this is not going to work. Missing, yep, because this is supposed to be a that thing. Okay, it's working. It's kind of cool. So 254, 217. Okay, so maybe, um, I think this has to be object extra params because that's how we're sending it. Yeah, this is hideously ugly. One day I'm going to not... I, no, I'm never going to clean it up, but... I want to save for this right now. I'm going to clean it up. Okay. This is better, but... Oh, right, zero, zero is going to be that. that that's fine. Um, longitude 2 is... Uh, being defined correctly, it appears, based on I and J. Um... I've got my loop backwards, actually. It doesn't matter, but it's kind of weird. Um, so the question is, what is long lat returning to us here? So that's I, J. Long lat is returning to us here. Uh, okay, beats the hell out of me. Let's find out what it's, <laughs> let's find out what it's returning. Go to definition. Okay, so it takes some objects and returns LNG and LAT. So I think the problem here, well, I think I, okay, now I think I realize why I should not be uh, overriding things in the, uh, in the object that I pass. Because oh, actually, I'm not though. Because those are those are not an extra params. Although this might be a wake up call to not do that anymore. Okay. Wow, Control Z actually does take me back to where I was. It's very nice. Okay, so we're sending it object extra params one. Lat object extra params. Oops, didn't finish doing that, did I? Uh, longitude for this. The longitude um, 
is the one return to the, where we are in the world right now and the latitude of work. So this won't work. But maybe it'll be interesting in its failure. Yeah. Um, so am I... Am I actually doing something wrong here? And over here, we're going to keep it a separate line just because I'm very obnoxious about that sort of thing. All right, let's see if this is... It's not going to work, but, you know, whatever. It's kind of cool. Dist is an object. Okay, that's actually okay. Um, okay, apparently now I've made it everything into an... <laughs> um... That's really strange, because I thought when I had this line was not like that, I got the whole object. But I don't. Okay, so... Let's fix this by doing this, not that. And now I think we're going to just have to do... Con because when you do it outside of a template string, apparently it looks different than when it's inside a template string. Which is very useful. Um, for nobody. But that is JavaScript. Alright, and let's do the same thing with distance, because it is an object which I begin to regret putting all this infrastructure onto it just for consistency. Alright, see what's from rock and roll, and this is still going to be broken, I'm pretty sure. Okay, X of this, uh, longitude, latitude, rad. This is not... this is weird. Latitude should be defined. Longitude rat... Something's weird there. Um, and the dist object... Uh, yeah. It's that one, lat2, one, two. For some reason, lat2 is not being defined. Um... Longitude... Maybe there's longitude... Uh, there's something funny going on with this function here, and I think maybe I've not been... Um, I think maybe I've tried to... I, <laughs> I tried to uh, assign things before. Uh, so object longitude is this. Latitude in radians is this. Latitude in non-radians is this. And longitude in radians is this. Okay, well, this is ugly. And I'm also being inconsistent with that. I think I can handle that. All right, let's see what this returns. Maybe that's, maybe we found the problem. Yeah, I was just about to print out 65,000 things, wasn't I? Now, this is really bad because it's actually a different random than the one we're getting in the, so we're not going to be printing out stuff that's, we're not going to be printing out stuff here that's linked to the stuff that we're calling. That might be okay, though. Because if, if there's a big enough problem, we'll see it uh, right over here. About to return... Lat, not a number... The only thing I'm thinking about here is maybe I can't do this magic with division signs. Maybe I really do need to put these things together. I mean, it's not bad practice, actually, to do that, but... Um, I think those are connected. Oh, they're not. Let me reformat all this crap. Uh, maybe... Oh, well, when you reformat it, it does that for you. That would be a really big mistake if... Um, if I can identify that it's actually happening. So let's take a look. A big mistake in Replit. But m then this convinces me, actually, that I'm doing something else wrong. Um, so lat... Sorry, we need to be over here. Lat is not a number, which is weird. No, it's not, because we actually... So this is kind of weird, because the two things we compute directly are LNG and lat rad. Both of those are coming out fine, which suggests my math, bclib.math degree is either broken or doesn't even actually exist. Uh, let me see what that is. clib.math.d 
degree? Well, it does exist. And is it being called early enough? Well, but that wouldn't matter because all everything's called before we start running functions. Okay, well, only one way to find out. No, there's an infinite number of ways to find out. This is one of them. Um, undefined. So that's kind of nice. Um, that's. Well, let's see what the hell I did back here. Ah, uh, yes. I'm an idiot. I meant to put that into here. <sighs> I'm tempted to just leave it where it is in BC Lib 2. But no, I'm going to be correct here and do it that way. This will break some other stuff, maybe. Not only him, cool. Um, so, about to return. Where are we? Finally! That's working. So now... I don't know where the hell we were about to... Okay. So here we actually wanted to uh, see what it was returning, and I think now it's going to be okay. Um, and 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 this is a really weird way of doing it. I'm not super happy with it. Um, looking good. Looking good. Okay. And so, if I were smart, I would just comment that out, but I am not smart. So I will not do that. Okay, now we can go back to GC dist, and this might actually be useful. Okay, so we're saying here at the longitude latitude of, um, well, slippy tile is zero. Ooh, I probably don't care about that. Um, slippy tile is whatever, we don't care. Uh, longitude 179, um, latitude. Uh, very, very close to zero. The distance should be very, very small. Um, but not, not a number. Okay. And that's actually halfway around the world there, so that should be a pretty big chunk there. Um, this is debugging, like, very frustrating debugging. So let's see here. Object dist equals this ugly thing here. Yes, of course, I changed it from bclib.degree to. This is just brilliant. I, I could just go in circles all day, I think. Now let's see if we can use their multiple. Change all occurrences! Yay! That's what the thing I was looking for earlier. Ta-da! Um, it'll probably still break. Yeah. Because... Oh. That's actually okay. Well, this time it at least tells me... Um, Line three. Oh, did I actually forget to change it up here? Change all isn't actually changing all of it. BC map. Oh, line 189, character three. So, oh yeah, beautiful. So I apparently had it as math degree in some places, and that now changed it to math math degree. So, you know, really, really fucked myself over hard. And I didn't even enjoy it. All right. Okay. So now... Well, the distance is defined, but the distance in kilometers and miles is not defined. Clearly, it, kn it knows... Uh, yes, because BC lib Earth radius... Why the... I beat myself to death, I think. Okay. 
So when the longitude and latitude is that, the distance is 10,000. 8840. Okay, and I think from here we can actually maybe um, get a very a useful console log that is not quite at this verbose. Okay. So that's where we call it. Uh, we don't want to do it there. We want to console log up in the uh, the buffer tile function. Okay. Um, so what I do want to know is I want to know the um, the pixel numbers. That is important. Um, the latitude and longitude associated with those pixels. Um, so that would be the long and this we should see a very nice pattern, of course if we've done this correctly, which means we will not see a very nice pattern. And that would just be the uh, long lat um, long value. Then, this is one of the few times the pop-up message is actually less useful, than, and I don't need to put that there. Uh, longitude, nope, 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 not. It's going to be like that. I think. Let me move this a little wider here real quick. There we go. The latitude will be the value returned from the conversion. Um, that. And the only other thing we really want is the distance, and I probably only want it in the unit that everyone in the world uses, which of course is miles. And let's see what that will That's going to be dist in miles or something. Yeah. By the way, if this convinces you not to program like me, you've probably done a good thing. Um, disk miles. Uh, which is going to be... yeah. Oh, that's ugly. We actually... disk is the whole object. Well, actually, it's not ugly. Um, can we do this, this, get rid of these two, without even bothering to comment them out, and then viola things will break okay so now we can we actually want to look at some of the older values here too so when i is 90 and j is 125 well i would expect i of 90 uh, out of 256 to be somewhat negative okay 124 out of 256 is very very close to the the equator good uh, and the dist here is of course not that and again we're looking at the distance from uh zero zero we will of course test with other values soon Hmm, or not. Well, we will actually pretty much have to. Um, okay, once again, we will look here. So when I have 71, we're still at pretty negative longitudes. Uh, 166, we should be below the equator now. And we are. We are. Thanks for seven. And the distance here is 527. Um, excuse me. Miles, which I have no idea if that's correct. Let's see if we can find it at longitude. This is eventually going to become longitude zero as we go through the uh, right to left, um, or close to zero. And and there it's easier to compute. So over here we got to minus 7.2. This is 127, which is good. That's like right at the border. 134 again, just below the uh, the equator. The distance there is 630. So the question is, is 10 degrees about 631 miles? And uh, that sounds about right. Um, I don't know why it sounds about right. Um, let's see. That's one ninth of the way to the equator, which is one. So if we multiply this number by um, by 36, we would get th because multiply it by this minus nine degrees. Multiply that by 10. That's 90 degrees, and then by four again. So by 40. So 6,300 um, for 90 degrees. And I forget what I said earlier. But 5,300, uh, 6,300 for nine, 90 degrees actually sounds about right. Um, and actually, I don't care anymore. Um, okay, blah, 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 blah. All right, so now we, we're going to, now we're actually going to introduce the color function. So far, all we've done is compute the distance. And now we, we're going to hard code a color function because I want to. Um, so I probably need to figure out how to return a PNG file. Actually, I know how to return a PNG file because um, we've done it before. In fact, I think we do it, um, yeah, right here. And the way we do it, object tile funk. Um, well, 
We need to figure out what tile. I think tile funk will take a tile. Well, it does take a tile. Um, I'm actually curious as to what this does. No, de of course, there's no definition found for tile funk because it's another file. Tile funk. No results. Cool, it's nowhere. I wonder if I can search inside of an entire directory. Uh, apparently not. Can't be in here because that's empty. Wait a minute, let's see what these things do here. Nothing. But maybe they were useful. Regular expression, no results. No results. Oh, actually, it's the funk. So I can find tile funk. Maybe it'll be better. Nope. A great mystery of where... There it is. The pass to the tile funk. Oh. Right, right. The tile function is so what we're just calling... Um, in this case, it'll be... Uh, it'll be the great circle distance instead of... The great circle... It'll be buffer instead of uh, uh, place tile. So the actual work is being done. Uh, not here. Well, let's see. The function that returns the ping image, so that we're not returning the ping image here. Uh, buffer tile is where we are returning, no, it is not. Um, I know we've done this because we had a fake slippy tile somewhere. And that might have been in staging. Wherever we do the fake slippy tile stuff, there we are. This is where we return the PNG. Uh, and so this is what we're going to mimic here. Um... Style equals blah, 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 blah. So this is where we need, we need to create a canvas. Not a problem. Uh, we, the height and width will be 256 because this is a, um, this is a standard uh, slippy map tile. And then we basically just need to draw on this sucker as we go through these, um, these, uh, these points. And I'm wondering if there is a set pixel of context that's not really relevant. Because... We'll find a way to do that. So let's see. We do not we do see what we want. And again we might sort of normalize this by just giving them, you know by standardizing the functions that we, we use, putting them in other functions. But right now we're supposed to put into uh upper tile. And we need to do this, let's see, so we start up with out for the new canvas, um, which will be object canvas. I don't know what this is about idea, but object canvas, new element, so uh, again it's going to be invisible. And then height, width. And then, yeah, you know, while we're at it, why don't we just freaking define the context inside the object too? This is because it's a really bad idea. I will probably at some point need to separate it. I'm going to make that my to-do list. Um, Separate out input and output objects, because I just think overriding the input object uh, is such a terrible idea that even I can't really get away with it. Um, so where were we? Did I lose my position in BC Maps? Or we're doing buffer? Come back to me, buffer tile. Where are you? There, there we are. Okay. So now we've defined the context, so what we're going to do now is uh, we are going to paint on our object. Let's see, this is, uh, we're still inside the IJ loop, right? Yeah. And right now I'm too, 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 um, too frickin' lazy to, uh, uh, to allow any random color function. We're just going to say if it's greater than 5,000 miles, which I've done here, then we're going to paint on the context. Okay. And let's see what we can do with the context. Probably a lot of stuff that they're not telling us. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to give us the context functions. So over here, I might even have a bookmark for this. 
should have a bookmark for this. Okay, um, I will create a bookmark for this. We're going to look at our um, our documentation. And now for once, I don't have to actually open a new tab. So, get context. Um, JavaScript canvas functions. If I actually find something useful. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. So I will bookmark it. I will just call it that. Uh, fill styles. So these are properties we can set. Shadow blur. Create pattern, linear grid, and line styles. Rectangles. Create a rectangle. Create a path. Um, create a transformation. Create text. Um, fill text image drawing. Image. Pixel. Okay. You know, I think you can actually set data is what we want to do here. And it occurs to me, um, I actually did this in another function, which I had actually cut and pasted so I wouldn't have to Google. So I kind of wasted some time there. Uh, but again, that's what I do. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what the commented out code, which actually did this for us. Image overlay, done overlay. Uh, and get array of distances. Wow. Oh, you can create an array. You can convert an array to a PNG. Well, you can't, but apparently I've written a function that lets you do that. Um, and I guess it's an array of colors. I don't really know. I guess it is an array of colors. So let's look at my array to PNG file because I don't really want to use that uh, because I want to sort of explain how it works and just using a pre-defined <sighs> function won't be helpful. So, of course, that's not going to work. And let's see if we can just say, go, this won't work either. Go to symbol? Really? Go to definition. There we are. So, let's see how I do this magic. Um, create a new image. Oh, wow, so maybe I just create the whole image. I just create an image, that's the PNG. Um, so I take the array and I flatten it. Why do I do that? Create the base64 representation of a PNG image from a 3D array of RGBA values. Oh, wow. So apparently you can just... Okay, so the apparently before I flatten it, I look at the structure of it. So apparently what this function gets is a array of arrays of arrays. And the uh, so what we can send it apparently is gonna be RGBA values and we're gonna have an array an array of those. And then this thing what this does is it just basically um, that's actually I forgot about this. Uh, apparently you can um, and apparently, so this is actually does all the work for us here. Um, and apparently, when you assign image data, uh, you can do it just one pixel at a time, and it, you don't even have to worry about row, column, or anything like that. Uh, because apparently, as it looks like we're doing here, um, it, you can just, uh, you know, you can set the parameters of the image to be... Um, to be uh, the height and width. Width and height, I'm guessing, actually, in that order. Um, oh, yeah, right, right, right. Because array zero would be the length of the first subarray, and array would be the length of the whole thing. So we can do that, and then you just sort of splat in um, a bunch of. Uh, uh, you can just basically assign flat i data, which is. And I think I used image data here because you can actually just literally give RGBA values. You don't even have to encapsulate them. Inside of a um, inside of a, a color object, so that might have been my thinking here. God only knows. Um, so the image data will just will just re we're learning. We're going to re uh, look at that again. Just okay. So now we're in the boonies, pretty much. So what I'd like to do 
sort of show a practical application of this. In other words, and you know, this is a hack, obviously. Um, let's see. Okay. So that adds this, that adds. Where am I putting my fake sippy tile? Okay, that's the. This is right here is the tile from uh, the uh, server, from my server, which we're not using that. Oh no, we don't add it to map anymore. Um, there is place fake tiles on map. Uh, map, by name, the extra parameters. Oh, that was just to test extra parameters. Uh, and that's my age. Um, but nothing came of that. I mean, it, the tests were fine. We're not actually using those parameters. Okay. So this is pretty ugly uh, to the point that I sort of want to. Um, I sort of want to refactor all of the code um, again. I mean, um, and maybe this time I usually don't plan when I code. But maybe this time plan ahead a little bit to keep stuff from getting uh, this ugly. Um, so that, I think, will be what I will be doing. We have been streaming for about 71 minutes, and I think that is uh, long enough. And so I will uh, call, this, uh, call this night for a day. It's middle of the afternoon. Okay, uh, thank you for watching the stream. I may stream later today. Uh, if not, when I stream next time, we are going to let's put that on to do list at number one, which everything is at number one. Refactor code and maybe meta doc. We're documenting the functions, but we might want to sort of meta document, um, you know, how the functions work with each other, what we actually want to do, because I think that will simplify the code a lot. Thank you for no one's here. Thank you for not watching, or thank you for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>